welcome to our channel my dear students today onwards we are going to talk about the organic naming reaction that is an important organic naming reaction that we are going to talk about in few videos likewise the first one is a Finkelstein reaction and Schwartz reaction we are going to discuss all those things then Sandmeyer's reaction Markovnikov's reaction that is Markovnikov rule by using Markovnikov rule how the reaction will give reactant will give the product like that then acting Markovnikov how it follows then uh, Woods reaction Fittig reaction Woods Fittig reaction along with that we are going to talk about these things also that is the Friedel-Crafts reaction in, in that case we are going to discuss alkylation acylation and Gauss process Hunz Dicker reaction, Gatman's reaction, Kolb's reaction, Riva Timon reaction, Williamson synthesis, etc. etc. Along with that, we are going to discuss the Rosenman reaction, reduction, Strephon reaction, Etard reaction, then Gatman Coach reaction, Clemenson reduction, Wolf Kishner reaction, Aldol condensation, Cross Aldol condensation, Canisur reaction, and Hell Wolhard Zinsky reaction. These are all the things we are going to discuss in our uh, upcoming videos. So here the first thing is the Finn Kilston reaction. What is Finn Kilston reaction? Finn Kilston reaction is nothing but it is a very very simple one. So as you are going to discuss like this. So here Finn Kilston reaction is nothing but it's a kind of a halogen exchange reaction. So halogen exchange, what is a halogen exchange reaction? As we know that the halogen exchange, that is, both the halogens are going to exchange by using this reaction. So how it can happen? So particularly it is used for the preparation of alkyl iodide, it is very important one. So it is used to prepare only alkyl iodide because of the solubility. So we are going to uh, separate the products. So here. For, let's see the reaction say for example if I'm taking alkyl uh, halide that is going to react with our sodium iodide in presence of dry acetone in dry acetone the sodium iodide is soluble but the formed product here sodium halide that is that may be a sodium chloride or bromide if you use the if you are taking a alkyl halide like as alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide both can exchange and it forms alkyl iodide along with that sodium chloride or bromide that are insoluble in acetone. This will give the important <coughs> preparation of alkyl iodide because this is a trick we are going to find out based on that solubility. So here the sodium iodide is soluble in acetone that is what can dissolve but in sodium halide like uh, sodium chloride or bromide that are insoluble in acetone so that is what it getting precipitated it will be is converted into insoluble precipitate that is what may be converted into precipitate that's what uh, the backward reaction will not be happen okay are you able to understand student that is what so here the product is stabilized and next one is next reaction is what is that Schwartz reaction so what is the Schwartz reaction? Schwartz reaction is also a kind of a halogen exchange but here the preparation of uh, alkyl fluoride. In last uh, reaction we talk about the preparation of alkyl iodide. Now we are going to talk about the preparation of fluorides. Okay. So here also uh, alkyl halide will be taken which will be reacting in presence of uh, metallic fluorides metallic fluorides the metallic fluorides may be silver fluoride hg2f2 cof2 or sbf3 these are all the things may used as a metallic fluorides to conduct this reaction and there is also the halogen can be exchanged by the way i'll be getting alkyl fluoride along with metal halide so this is a very very simple reaction it is also a kind of halogen exchange reaction in presence of uh, in last reaction Wilkinson reaction it's used to prepare alkyl iodide but here it is used to prepare alkyl fluoride and next reaction is third one is a Sandmeyer reaction what is a Sandmeyer reaction the Sandmeyer reaction is a very simple one so here Preparation of aryl halides. Preparation of aryl halides. The aryl halides may be uh, uh, 
chloride or bromide or iodide right? except the fluoride we can prepare it so here also prepare uh, using sandmeyer reaction we can able to prepare these kind of things right uh, aniline which will be reacting with sodium nitrite H hx that hx x may be a chlorine or bromine so sodium nitrite nano2 hcl or hbr so in presence of a very very low temperature like a 273 to 275 almost to 5 degrees celsius so <clears throat> that uh, it forms a unstable compound like a diazonium salts here benzene diazonium salt has be produced if i want to prepare a alkyl halide like um, what is that um, whether uh, chlorobenzene or bromobenzene that time i have to use cu2x2 that will be acting as a a reactant one of the reactant and another reactant if i want to prepare alkyl iodide that time i have to react with ki that time i will be getting these kind of things i think so you understand very well about these three mechanisms this is very very simple reactions so here uh, first reaction is wilkinson reaction and second one is schwarz reaction and third one is sanmeyer reaction i think so you understand well so if you don't know about this concept if you have any doubt in that please put it on comment section definitely i'll be helping you are you able to understand students this is very very simple one first one is wilkinson reaction second one is schwarz reaction and third one is sanmeyer reaction thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit thank you once again thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thank you for learning share and like this video